Hi, this is Greg Tormo from Paul Kaplan Group. I'm at uh, 2502 Broadmoor, and this is a really nice mid-century home in the Talquits Creek Golf neighborhood of Palm Springs. And just to situate you, we are about I'm like two or three, two blocks really from East Palm Canyon Drive, uh, which means that you're close enough to, for easy access and far enough that you don't hear any of it. You know, there might be like a real low hum of traffic there, but um, you really don't hear it. And the only people that really come through this neighborhood are local people. Yeah, it's not, it's not, I wouldn't, this is not a through street of any kind. Um, and you've got some really nice homes all around here. You've got also got a fully automated uh, gate for privacy here. And here's some things I like about this property. Fully private, tall hedges all the way around, which is really nice. A lot of space here. You've got, you've got a lot of palm trees in this one spot, um, but you'll see why they, they did that in a, in a minute. Uh, big driveway, two car garage, another um, large space here protected by the ficus hedges. And then even um, even the front courtyard uh, is built for privacy. So you have the wall and the glass, the frosted glass. You've got a tiled front entryway, sort of like off-white. And that tile continues through the house. So it's a little discolored here and there, but um, that's what you get when you, you know, tile things. Um, so uh, it look, I mean, it's a kind of like a beige-ish tile, but it's light beige. You've got a tall, tall ceiling in the living room area, double-sided fireplace, which is fun. And I'm told that the home has surround sound, uh, surround uh, stereo system throughout the house, um, and it's activated with Sonos, and that comes with the house. And I think all the furniture is included in the house. You got beautiful mountain views that way. That's why they situated things this way with the privacy. Hallway here. Some cabinets. You got two guest rooms on this side of the house. There's one. This is a queen size bed. You could put a king bed going on that wall, I think, if you wanted to, and then you'd, they'd be facing the mountains, which would be nice. It's nice that there's a slider here that goes out to that front patio too. Guest bedroom number two, similar size. You got a queen bed in here now, could easily fit a king bed. Slider out to the side patio. Again, it's fully private. Uh, I'm told the next door was recently sold uh, as a fixer, and the the new buyers are going to be sinking about half a million dollars into that. Guest bathroom. You have a large shower with two shower heads. The stone, uh, what you call this, like a stone floor, stone tile type floor. Korean type counter, newer cabinet. And there's the other side of the fireplace. Dining area here, kitchen. The, it's like a, I think it may be like a quartz or Korean countertop. It's not, it look, it's green and it looks kind of like it, it's meant to be uh, like a Formica, but it's not Formica. It's something better than that. Tile backsplash, glass tile backsplash. Cabinetry looks like it's newer, looks uh, um, like Ikea style white lacquer cabinets. Wall of sliders to your backyard. It's so quiet here. I don't hear anything. Here's your 
living area. All right, now this is your master suite over here. You've got the bedroom here, which is carpeted. With slider out to the pool. This is a king bed already in here. And your closet is here. Again, good size walk-in closet. It's got a skylight in it. Carpeted. And then this is the uh, primary bath. You've got um, vanity with that same countertop that's in the other bath. And then a step-down shower. So they kept the sunken uh, Roman style shower slash tub. There's your your tub filler there, but you've got the shower head there. And you've got a door that goes out to, if I can open this. A door that comes out here to this private little patio, which is kind of neat. And oh, it looks like you've got, um, Looks like they were going to do maybe a, an outdoor shower, which might explain that. I'll have to ask about what that is. But a beautiful, beautiful view from here. It was smart of them to make this a glass door. And let me go out to the back through here. All right, so here's your pool. Uh, I'd say lengthwise, it's maybe, you know, between 15 and 20 feet from end to end. So I'd, I'd call it a full-size pool, but, you know, you're, if you're doing laps, you're probably, it's, you know, you got two or three strokes before you get to the end. So I'm not, I'm not sure it's a lap pool exactly. And then a decent-sized hot tub, spa. You could fit, you know, three or four people in there your giant hedge and a nice olive tree there too. Let's go check out this side. Um, the part of the patio is tiled with the same tile that's in the house, which is a nice touch. This is your neighbor next door who's just be starting a project soon. All right, so this is, this is the patio outside the kitchen and the patio outside the guest bedroom. You've got a uh, uh, lockable gate there for your uh, pool guy or gardener access here. But this is all hardscape concrete and the grass there is artificial grass. The These are the southern uh, mountain views which are pretty nice. And then your southwestern views are this way really nice that's why they put this uh, like gazebo structure here to take advantage of that they've also installed a little putting green which is fun and let's see I think this must be where the pool equipment is uh, air conditioner uh, this was uh, an old swamp cooler we'll find out if that's still intact or not and the golf course is here. And the tee box is right outside the gate. So there's your tee off and they're teeing off that direction. So they're going uh, north, they're hitting north from there. Um, and so you'd probably have to be a pretty bad shot to get the ball over this hedge and into the yard. Now, if you were going to add a casita, um, you could put it here where this um, gazebo, like, I don't know if you call this gazebo, uh, the structure is here. It's on a concrete pad right now, uh, but I'd probably say you demolish that when you build your casita. Um, or, or you could build it there. Um, now, to build it there, you'd be taking down these trees or at least a chunk of them. I mean, it depends on how big you want the casita, I guess. I mean, you've got at least 20 feet here from this tree to that tree, maybe more, maybe more like 25 or 30 feet, actually, from that tree to that tree. 
Um, and then from the fence, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you can't build right up to the fence. You gotta be over a little bit, like maybe, I can't remember the, maybe five or six feet. Um, and then over to that wall, which you could move closer to the house because there's not a whole lot of reason to have it that far out. Um, that's probably another 15 feet. So you could build, yeah, I was gonna say, you could, you could build like a Sita in either there, um, you know, where that fire pit is there and just remove some of these trees, um, or you could build it there. Um, but they've, if you do build it either of these places, you gotta put a big window <laughs> facing the mountain view because that's the, the money shot there. All right, so this is 2502 Broadmoor in the Tockwitz Creek Golf neighborhood in South Palm Springs.